So, uh, day two of the educator tour in St. Robert, uh, Missouri, I guess is the proper way to say it. Not Missouri as we would say it, uh, Michigan and Ohio. Uh, but we're getting ready to head to Fort Leonard Wood here in about uh, five minutes uh, once everybody gathers up. So looking forward to a really good day, learning a lot of things, learning about Army life and Army culture. Um, and a sort of role reversal here. It was hot, sticky, and muggy yesterday. Seems like it rained last night, so it, uh, a little bit cooler today. So hopefully it stays cool like this the rest of the day. So, I'm barely teacher. just came through the main gate and they asked us not to film um, but there's a long line of people getting ready to go to work in the morning I'm 751 so um, I'm wondering if work starts at 8 or 9 o'clock in the reception area right now where they come um, their first three and a half days they said to get processed in. These soldiers that arrived last night will come back through here today and get their photo taken for their uh, army uh, ID code. All right. Tomorrow at 1300 that ID card will come back. So who are we talking to here? First Sergeant Morrell. Well, now Sergeant Morrell. Sergeant Morrell. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why does it, does it change when you're here? No, no, no it changed when I uh, gave up the recruiting. Oh, okay. All right. Somebody really brought. Somebody really brought. This is all stuff that's confiscated here. Yeah, that's a. Prescription, you know, they'll get that. If they're not seeing 2020 20, uh, their glasses, or if they're not seeing 2020 20, um, at all, then they'll stand one of these lines here to be seen by one of the doctors. So they get their shoes off, so I'm guessing they're going to get some. So really quick, the black PT gear are first day. The ones that are in their uniforms already are second day. The ones that were sitting in their chairs that you saw earlier are third day getting ready to meet their drill sergeants at the end of that day. We have a lot of soldiers that are like these, 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 these pants and shirts too baggy. Up. And you don't get to wear skin tight stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, did you want? Okay. 
any place you've got um, guys and gals in their first three days. You can see ones that are happy, that are seem well adjusted, and you can see ones that seem like, oh crap, what the heck did I just do? Um, they were just telling us that at any point in time within this receiving, they can still tap out if they want, meaning that you know they can go home, and there is a process for doing that. So I didn't realize that, and I'm not sure why if you already got this far, you would want to leave. So we are getting ready to head into Prime Power School. The laps that I just took is the Prime Power School, so the engineering. So let's see what this is all about. Some gas diesel motors. They can bring them inside and out of the weather if it's actually working. Good job keeping up with uh, new technology, new equipment, new systems that are out there, right? The, the new equipment and things like that. Well, for us, it's it's fairly quick paced, right? the digital training facility. Hiding somewhere, playing. Yeah, iPad. Get over that. Or you can run around. Yeah, get, go to a low point and kind of face it. is to train uh, forensics and criminalistics uh, for all military police officers as well as Army CID. Do you guys know what Army CID is? Army CID is the felony police and MPI, military police investigations, is the misdemeanors. So Army CID, I'm a CID warrant officer, so we investigate, you know, child molestation, rape, murder, stuff. So inside this building, I have to train them on how to process murders and rapes and crime scenes and just the ugliness of the world. My lecture is uh, I, I hold up this box and I ask them, you know, what's this box? And I have 30 people, you know, I know this, I know this one, right? They're like, same kid, or rape kid, or, you know, there's a whole bunch of names for it. And then I say, well, what is it? Now they're confused. It's a, it's a rape kit. I'm like, yeah, what is it? And I do this for about 10 minutes until they're ready to kill me, right? So, uh, a part of their homework studies is that they have to read the Turner Brock Allen victim impact statement. And so if you're not familiar with that one, it's the uh, Stanford swimmer who got six months in jail for sexually assaulting the girl behind the dumpster. The victim inside that case wrote a 15 page victim impact statement and she describes this kid. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See? Oh! There you go. Have a good one. So wh why do you keep going over?